I'm the lone long ranger. Shout out to the Navy SEALs, Sniper Division. Pow. King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to game four of the NBA playoffs. Now to get this thing started off, I have to treat George Hill like a full load of clothes. Gonna go ahead and put him in a spin cycle real quick. No and one, but I'll take it. Thanks ref, I needed that. Now, starting things off on the nine to four run, we are definitely gonna play the best defense we can up against the Pacers. Now they do have Paul George. You know, sometimes it's hard to stop him. But I will say sometimes when the other teammates get the ball, bad things happen. So we're going to go ahead, grab that rebound, run the fast break. Hibbert's not going to catch me. Throw the flashy pass, and Melo pulls up for the mid-range jump shots and gets it to go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I know a lot of people seen in my last video that I got the on-the-court coach badge. Now, the on-the-court coach badge is what I needed, man. It gets things done. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Got to get the 360 off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No disrespect to the commentary, but that 360 had to be done. It was what was needed to get the tempo started. But back to what I was talking about. Yeah, so um, I got that on the court coach, and now I'm able to have my teammates shoot when I say or pass when I say. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop the commentary once again. We're going to go ahead and get these cookies. Got to go on the fast break. I see my man Jared cutting to the basket. Got to throw the oop. I don't know what Mo Williams was doing right there. Maybe his headband was just a little bit too tight. But we got the alley-oop to go. Now, back to what I was saying about this on-the-court coaching. Now, the on-the-court coaching does have its pros and and cons but what i will say is it's mostly pros now i do have my teammates shoot and we all know that sometimes your teammates aren't the best of shooters they don't have the best percentages and you know they miss a lot of shots but when it's time for them to count it's best to have your team oh my hold on gotta stop the commentary again did mo williams just dead eye that all in my face like all up in my face like it's just like he mushed the whole cake in my face now, back to this on the court coach, man. Now, sometimes when I do have my teammates shoot, sometimes they nail them and sometimes they don't. But when they do nail them, it's, it's mainly cash. But when they miss them, it puts me in a better position because I know that they're going to shoot. And I kind of can, like, drive to the basket and hopefully get a rebound. It's pretty dope. But check it out. We got to stop the commentary one time because I'm about to commit this murder real quick. I'm sorry. Hibbert, you gots to die. Gots to put your six feet under, brother. You deserve all that, man. You're going to get dunked on for the rest of the night. Every time I drive to the lane, expect to get dunked on. But check it out. On the court coach is one thing that I have a problem with. Maybe since we do have this feature, maybe you guys should put, like, slightly early, perfect release, or give us more control of the shot and make us, when we press square, we can hold it for as long as the shot is supposed to be to so we can learn, like, our teammate shots that would be pretty dope like just imagine you press square you let it go say very early so really it's up to you to shoot it that would be more dope than just telling the computer to shoot but check out paul george with the and one though you know what i'm saying driving to the right he ain't dunk on nobody he ain't get disrespectful out here but he definitely got that and one to go you know what i'm saying i can't be mad about it check out the contact stoudemire not playing any defense that's why you got traded in the real life i'm sorry he didn't get traded he got bought out but you know that's none of my business though but check out Paul George again, thinking he's about to get this and one to go. We're going to go ahead and botch all that. I'm going to throw the oop, though. You see, you already know I was going to throw the oop. I went between the legs and just threw that thing. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Walk him right to my man, Emo. Emo. <laughs> but 
On the court coach is definitely needed. I will say that. I'm going to show you guys a play where on the court coach is what was needed in this uh, play, but not this one right here. This one is all about me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pass, pull this three, nail that sucker. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Great side selection, you know, getting that plus nine VC doing my thing. But uh, I know you guys want to see that on the court coach, so it's only right for me to show you guys this play. Check it out right there. See the on the court coach? You know what I'm saying? But he missed the shot. It, it, it's what happens, you know, when you have the on-court coach, you can tell him to shoot, but it's really up to you to say, hey, is it is it the best time to shoot or anything? But uh, check out Bargnani kicking it back to Melo. Don't know why he did that, but I pass it to Bargnani. He doesn't make it, so we're going to go ahead and have to play a little bit more defense here. Going to call for the double team. Double team doesn't happen. They hit George in the corner. It's not for three, but he misses the shot. Now it's up to me to get the on-court coach popping again. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it over to Melo. Call for the on-court coach. And you know what it is, baby. Cash money. This game is sadly over for the Indiana Pacers. Their series is over. We have won 4-0. Now David West is going to go ahead and fight for them two points, but it doesn't matter. This game is over, but the video is not over. We got 18 seconds left. Now, I wanted to let you guys know for this game, I changed my jump shot back to Steph Curry. So you know what that means, right? You might as well call me Splash Cousin. Because what's about to go down, you ain't never seen before. I'm about to pull up from the logo, though. I'm about to pull up from the NBA Playoffs logo. Check me out right here. No defense on me. I just pulled it because I wanted to. But guess what? I nailed it with Steph Curry jump shot now yes i do have limitless range i do have volume shooter i don't have dead eye yet but pulling up for that shot and nailing it cash all net is insane but ladies and gentlemen i know you like to see stats i know you want to see who did what what didn't happen i know y'all see them six turnovers i'm ass but i will tell you man i'm proud of my turnovers you want to know why because at least i put in an effort to get that double double got 11 assists Almost, you know, cheated with a triple-double with seven rebounds. But that's all I needed to win this game. Now, team comparison, pretty good. Turnovers, kind of the same. Now, it's funny because I had six of those 12 turnovers. So, just imagine if I had no turnovers. You know what I'm saying? The turnover ratio would be insane. But uh, just showing you guys, we shot 51%. They shot 44. They shot 19% from the three-point line. They ain't got the shooters that I thought they did, man. Even though Mo Williams did hit a couple, George Hill, nah. <laughs> he ain't hit none of that. But this is IKC signing out, y'all. Peace.